that, like us, is a stalwart believer in the negotiated two-state solution. Um, the only path to a lasting resolution of the conflict and, critically, equal measures of democracy, opportunity, and dignity for Israelis and Palestinians. Well, let's cross live then to Jerusalem. Our correspondent, Iris Makler, is standing by. And Iris, what should we expect from Blinken's visit today? You heard him talking there about a negotiated two-state solution, but that feels rather far away, doesn't it? It does feel far away, and I don't think that's his aim at the moment. I think Washington has a realistic view of both the partners to peace, if you like, who would be sitting down at a table, a notional table, a very far right, Israel's most far right government led uh, by Benjamin Netanyahu, who has, who has not expressed great enthusiasm for Mahmoud Abbas. Mahmoud Abbas now uh, 88 years old, in office for 17, nearly 18 years. It's, you know, <laughs> he has a very little political popularity left. I don't think anyone would follow him, even if he were interested still in a peace negotiation. I think what Washington wants is a de-escalation. It wants something calmer. It appreciates what's going on here. It realises how worrying it is. And it wants to, I guess, offer what it can do to help bring people back down, because it's not going to help any civilian here. And Iris, you've covered the conflict in the region for a long time now. Just give us a sense right now what the atmosphere feels like to you. It's very tense. Uh, it's very... People on both sides are very nervous. I'm in Jerusalem. People are nervous to catch public transport to go to work. Those feelings have resurfaced for Jewish Israelis. Um, Israeli, Arab Israelis are nervous in the areas where they live because they're they know that in the parliament they've been discussing shutting them down, shutting them in. That's 40% of the population. So people here are nervous. There's a broader feeling that, you know, all it takes is one lone gunman, which is what we've seen in the last two attacks on Friday and Saturday, one lone gunman and, and you know, there could be a conflagration. So it's very tense. And I don't know, I don't haven't spoken to an analyst who says to me, who's prepared to say, this is not an escalation. Everybody recognises that it's an escalation, particularly ahead of Ramadan next month in, in March. And I, I, um, I think people are fearful of where it could go. Iris Makler for now, live in Jerusalem. Thanks very much uh, indeed. We're going to keep, of course, covering this story for you throughout the day. We'll speak to an analyst on this very issue uh, in about half an hour's time. For now, Iris, thank you.